Hey everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with your Weather Now update on this Monday afternoon. We've been tracking some scattered showers, albeit light, and uh, we've been pretty much stuck in the clouds and fog all day long. It's muggy, it's humid, and temperatures as a result haven't gotten all that high, looking at upper 60s and low 70s currently, and that's pretty much where we've been all day. We were a touch warmer, you know, a couple hours ago. Now, live camera shot outside. This is Newport, of course. You can see the Newport Pell Bridge in the distance. It's cloudy, it's warm, it's muggy, and uh, we're seeing some areas of fog as well. So certainly not the best beach day. And uh, we did see some sunshine earlier uh, during the day, but uh, we've been kind of seeing the clouds win out. Temperatures, like I've mentioned, upper 70s, uh, or excuse me, low, low 70s, upper 60s is what we're looking at. Um, certainly the warmer air is further inland uh, out of our area, but uh, again, we're looking at uh, dew points in the 60s. So it's very humid and very muggy, and uh, it's certainly feeling tropical outside, and we're going to continue to see that trend continue as we uh, go through the rest of the week. Dew points, 60s all across the board here, even getting into the low 70s. So again, that measures the humidity in the air. So the higher the dew point means it's more humid. You can see uh, those dew points on Friday, Saturday low 70s so that's certainly some humid air you can see on the radar here too we have a couple light showers moving through of course we'll get uh, any rain that we can get we'll certainly take it we are in a severe drought so we do need the rainfall and you can see here uh, a few light showers on the radar coming up you know uh, from the south and again we will take it it's not enough to really put a dent into our deficit but you know it'll be enough to give us some light showers and the the grass and lawns will certainly be happy to get at least some rain and uh, we're squeezing a little bit out of this low pressure system that's passing to our south so we're getting a little bit of moisture enough to spark these uh, few light showers so that's what we're going with for the rest of the evening hours um, those showers will continue but then they're eventually going to end later on tonight and we're looking at just a warm and muggy night temperatures near 70 and uh, winds west around five to ten miles per hour now for tuesday we're looking at dry, mild conditions to start. Temperatures in the 70s, it's going to be humid and muggy. And uh, by 11 a.m., look at the temperature, 85 degrees. And uh, we're looking at a better chance of another shower or storm for the afternoon. Um, again, it's not a widespread event. Not every town or city is going to see one. But the chance does certainly go up a bit for the afternoon hours. And uh, again, we're going with a storm chance, an isolated storm. Um, and those that get it will be certainly happy to get the rainfall. But again, unfortunately, for those that don't, uh, it'll just be kind of the same old story as the summer's been going, right? We've been looking for rainfall. We haven't gotten much of it. So, you know, the bigger story will certainly be the heat. Temperatures near 90, and it could be the first day of at least a four-day uh, heat wave coming our way uh, before things kind of back off a bit in terms of temperature for the weekend. So that's what we're looking at on Tuesday afternoon. Chance of a storm, only 30% chance, and uh, again, temperatures in the low 90s. So as we go through the rest of the week, as I've been saying, uh, the big story will be the heat and the humidity, potentially a four-day heat wave coming our way. Uh, the hottest day looks to be on Thursday with temperatures in the mid-90s. And then uh, we're looking at a chance of a storm uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and even into Monday, uh, our guidance is showing that. So again, nothing, no major rainstorms, but at least the chance is there uh, for at least a shower or storm during the afternoon hours of those days that I just mentioned. So that's what we're looking at for the rest of the week. That's all I have for now. Thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night.